Hello everybody, I'm El Bristow, this is Elotopia Gaming. Welcome to another first play episode. Today we're having a look at a game that, quite frankly, I had never heard of until the developers chose to send me a copy of this to have a look at. This is RPG Tycoon. You manage the kingdom, they manage the work. I really don't know what to expect with this. The, the graphic style is, well, this. Um, I'm, I'm not... It's it's an isometric style. Um, I'm not going to judge it based on its graphics. I I, I feel it's lacking a little bit of polish, but uh, it's not released yet. Uh, it's not released. Well, actually, by the time you're watching this, it probably is because I've had a, a content embargo on this one, so I've not been allowed to release the video yet. But um, uh, the, the final version of this may be slightly different because this is still an alpha build, as you can see from the bottom right hand corner down there. Um, uh, having said that about the graphics, uh, you know, Lemonade Tycoon had isometric style and that was an extremely addictive game, so the gameplay may well make up for the, the graphic style. So, let's have a look at it, shall we? Uh, new game. Uh, new save. Uh, kingdom name. Well, of course it's going to be Elitopia. Uh, let's see, game mode. Uh, probably easy. Uh, let's go with easy for the, for this video. Uh, duration, no idea. 25 game years, 10 game years, that's not going to make any difference. We're not going to get there in... Well, let's go for short. Uh, we're probably not going to get there in the uh, in this video. Objectives enabled, yeah, probably. Style, grass, mud, sand, snow. Grass then. Established kingdom. Okay, welcome to RPG Tycoon. In RPG Tycoon, it's your job to manage and grow this desolate kingdom. You have a limited time to turn things around and... You're competing against other up-and-coming kingdoms for the coveted award of the greatest kingdom in all the land. All of your actions will score you kingdom points along the way. When your time reigning as leader runs out, the kingdom with the most points will win. There's a long road ahead of you, and you're going to need heroes in order to succeed, so purchase a hero quarters from the build menu above. Your kingdom awaits. Good luck. Okay, so build menu above, and we need a hero quarters apparently, which costs us 5,000 gold and gives us five hero space, person space, space for people or, or something. A house for a hero. Uh, and we can place it somewhere. I'm going to place it uh, there, I guess. What's that mean? Empty house. This home is vacant. Click to hire a hero to live here. Okay, let's click to hire a hero. Philip the Brave. Fast learner, thick skin. Takes less damage in quests, earns more experience. Sounds sounds good. Uh, higher price. Will cost you 70 gold to hire. And it'll cost me 7 gold a month. Okay. Or Iris the Incredible is a witch. Oh, what was he? A knight. Okay. Uh, Chris the Courageous. Chris the Courageous. What a weak name. He's a ranger. A sprinter with wep and weapons master. Um, I think the first one's got to be a knight, hasn't it? Let's let's hire a knight. This will hire Philip the Brave. Yeah. Okay. Managing your heroes. Congratulations, you've hired your first hero. Heroes have needs and will always perform better in tasks when they are healthy and happy. So be sure to look after them or they may end up leaving your service. Heroes are your connection to the world outside of your kingdom and will help it grow in a variety of different ways. You'll be paying them upkeep once a month. So be sure to keep them busy. For more information on heroes, be sure to check the section on them in the help menu above. Continue. So there's our hero. There's Philip. Hello, Philip. Um, and and complete a quest. Okay. Uh, purchase new buildings and decorations for your kingdom. Uh, okay. So uh, quests. Start a quick quest, I guess. Solo quests for a single hero. Complete specific types of quests in settlements you protect. Match quest types and settlements with the correct supplies to achieve the best results. Match quest types and settlements with the correct supplies to achieve the best results. Okay, number of supplies unlocked, 13. No quest completed, no villains vanquished. Okay, so we're going to start a quick quest. Uh, choose a quest to complete. Farmhand, vermin, swamp, fishing. Get stuck in and gather resources. Kill it, maybe with fire. There's a disturbance in the swamp. Teach a man to fish. He learns how to... He learns how to... He learns how to feed his family. For, for I think that's supposed to... Yeah, there's, there's more to that saying. Um, okay, so let's go for... Let's pick the first one, shall we? Farmhand. All, all RPGs start with, you know, 
gathering missions and things like that. Uh, selected supplies. We don't. Oh, select six supplies to take with you. Okay. Um, oh, there's things here. Okay, so this is a farming mission. Accessories, books, clothing, tools. Tools you're going to need. Uh, farming equipment you're going to need. Um, accessories. Uh, probably not climbing gear. Storage cart, maybe. Uh, storage cart, yeah. Probably not traps, weapons, armor, or camping material. So clothing, I guess. I don't think you'll need lumber or stone. Um, books, I don't know. Uh, that that looks good to me. Next, hero assign Philip the Brave. Uh, select an approach. Normal. Perform the quest with general focus on all of your heroes. Oh, that's it. That's the only option we've got. Okay, he's off. He's been paid. He's off on a quick quest. Performance in a quest is based on a hero's skills. Heroes get better at quests the more they repeat them and the higher level they are. Awful, awful, bad. Awful. Sounds good. Bad. He's not doing particularly well. Awful. Okay, what's all this down here? Kingdom name. Rename your kingdom. How much gold we currently have? 1,368. Okay, kingdom happiness. Uh, oh, what's this? We've got... We've got discs of information up here. This is the end of the quest. Okay. Preparation. What's this? Supply was useless. Supply was useless, useless, useless. Okay, the farming equipment was good, though. Was correct, but placed in the wrong slot. Oh, okay. I didn't realise it was that specific. What's this? Like a game of Mastermind as well. Okay. Um, so we've got to put the things in the right slots and everything. Okay, so we gained three happiness. Uh, and what's that? 118 gold? Okay. Performance, he gained XP, more happiness, okay, he got tired, he got, he advanced in quick and farmhand, uh, settlements, boulders, boulders dash, albinon, yell pinch, and crinkle stap, crinkle tap, uh, they've all got five happiness, and that's, I don't know, I, I really don't know what information I'm looking at here, however, quest preparation was awful, and the hero performance was bad, fantastic. Managing settlements. Settlements are towns that rely on your guidance and protection of a kingdom. They are the key to growing your kingdom and their happiness affects how many followers you will earn each month. Complete quick quests and keep their threat levels low in order to keep them happy. You can gain control of new settlements by first discovering them during epic quests or by using maps and sending a hero out to claim them. You can access settlements and manage them from the tab in the relations menu. For more information, click the help menu. Okay. Um, reach level two. Start a new quest. Access previous quest information and track your villain and bounty progress. Okay. So where do, where do we see the information about? Where's the map? There was a map that it said. Quest kingdom. View adventurers. Manage events. Access your guild. Research items. Relations. Stats. Help. Options. Okay. What's going on over here? Let's let's. That's you've hired Philip the Brave to work. Okay, competing kingdoms. Now that you're all settled in, a connection with your competing kingdom has been established. You can now keep an eye on them via the kingdom menu above. At the end of each year, you'll be reviewed against each kingdom in an annual report to the kingdom with the most points in the blah, 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 blah. If you want to win against them, you'll need to keep active. Yeah, okay, so beat other kingdoms. I, I get that. Paid him some money. Okay, what's this? Games auto saved. Okay, custom quest completed. 118 gold. Objective completed, 390 gold. Game has been auto-saved. Get rid of all of them, please. Um, let's see. What can we build? Dirt road. Okay. Hero quarters. Get across water at, at ease. Heals your heroes. We'll probably need one of those, won't we? That's a clinic. So let's have a clinic. There. Um, I'd like to get rid of this tree because it's quite inconveniently placed. However, for the moment, I think we'll go with some road around here. There we go. That connects his house and that connects that up. Uh, probably didn't need one there. Never mind. Uh, can I do cancel? No? Okay. Okie dokie. Well, there we go. Um, so, uh, ooh, that's, that's an auto save. Okay. Uh, let's go for kingdom. And I don't see any competition in there. Okay. 
Uh, items, nothing in there. Okay, I think we need to just send the hero off on another quest. So let's do another quick quest. He did farm hand. Let's do vermin. Uh, what was the what was the thing? Kill it maybe with fire. Okay, so weapons, armor, traps. Um, it's for, uh, uh, I don't know. Lumber and stone, probably not. Clothing, maybe. I don't know. Books, accessories, I don't know. That'll do. Next. The sign, Philip. Normal. Off you go. Go and do an awful job. He's off. Awful? Oh yeah, look, awful. And... Awful. And... Awful. Excellent. Uh, ooh, research. You need to build a library in order to enable research. Fair enough. Uh, relations kingdoms ah right okay so this is other kingdoms we've got lots of points they've got less points that's good I like that way round uh, this is how happy the settlement is with you settlement has defense that reduces threat level this to do with followers or something wasn't it oh I can upgrade the settlements as well how many followers this settlement is adding to your kingdom each month? Adjusted based on settlement happiness. Increase the maximum followers you can gain. Right, so I could send the hero to the settlement to protect them, I'm guessing. We can upgrade it. Required to upgrade a settlement. Okay. Um, so let's wait for the hero to get back. Uh, there's another quick save. And uh, toggle building opacity. Okay. I'm just hunting around trying to see what we can do because we've got to get to level 2, so... That's, that's our current goal here, which shouldn't be too tricky. Ooh, we got some green ones. This was correct and placed in the right slot. This was correct and placed in the right slot. Traps were useless, clothing books and accessories were useless. Yes, useless books, useless traps. Um, bad quest preparation, bad performance. Increased by 6 happiness and got 103 gold. Do we level 2 it? No. Okay. Uh, he got quick and vermin, blah, 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 settlements. Oh, that went down. That's that's fantastic. Uh, maybe we'll go and visit them as the first one that we plan to go and visit. Uh, so let's close that. So this is follower progress. Your progress to the next level, I see. So we need to go and get followers. He's tired, but let's go to relations. Let's go to Al... Albinon, and we'll send the hero to Albinon. Off you go. Go and be an Albinonian for a little while. Ah, oh, level up. You've gained enough attention that adventurers from nearby settlements have decided to see what your kingdom has to offer them. Place stores and services in your kingdom to begin earning money from adventurers. Be aware they will need to consider your kingdom attractive in order to want to shop there. Place decorations to raise your attractiveness and rating and keep adventurers satisfied. Continue. Uh, so build stuff. We can build more stuff. Excellent. A sandwich shop. I like the sound of a sandwich shop. But people are much more likely to come if I have a weapon store. Ah, that's expensive. They're all quite expensive. A tavern provides low quality grog to adventurers. Um, okay, we've got all sorts of things in here now. Uh, oh, that's for sorting and this is the tabs. Okay, so that's decorations. A notice board. Complete bounties. Hmm. Interesting. Um... Buildings, clinic, waterway, dirt, hero quarters, tavern, sandwich shop, weapon store. Go on, let's have a weapon store. Can I rotate it? Ah, oh, yes, I can. I can. Oh, rotate it there or there. That's that's it. I can't rotate it any more than that. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's place you. So we could expand for 250 gold, but that leaves us with not very much gold. Uh, in fact, let's let's do that. We'll expand, and then we'll place him here. And then we will build a bit of, not waterway, uh, dirt road. There we go. One, two. And let's have some decorations. Let's build a, oh, a fountain. No, can't afford a fountain. Let's have a snowman then. Um, if you can't have a fountain, have a snowman. There we go. We have some attractiveness. Uh, stuff unlocking. Oh, look! I've attracted attention. People are starting to notice me. 
and that gave me an achievement in Steam as well. Fantastic. Uh, so people have come to come to visit and, and say hello. Oh, have a tavern. Okay, I didn't see that. That was a bit foolish. I need a tavern, and I just spent my money on something that was not a tavern. Um, here's an idea. When you've been given objectives, read the objectives before doing anything else, basically. Um, earn 2,000 gold from adventurers. Well, our weapons store is... Oh, it's unattended. Can we assign a hero? A hero? Why would we want to assign a hero? Hmm, okay, so we have to hire another hero to attend our store. We, ha we can't hire another hero. Okay. Lots of people are arriving. I think maybe we should bring our hero home. Uh, oh, they're, they're very happy. Return, hero. And then assign hero, Philip the Brave. You go and work in the shop for a little while. There you go. We're making money. They're buying red bags, apparently, from our weapon store. Everyone knows how lethal red bags can be. Especially if you put, put them over your head. Um, and, and then, you know, like, do them up so that you can't breathe. Um, Hero is working in the shop. Philip the Brave is inside this building. And what are we getting from that? Environment boost. Okay. Store appeal. Mm, store appeal. Is that... What is this? Toggle growth. Toggle's the ability for this building to level up. Recommended if you don't want the building maintenance to increase. Recommended if you don't want the building maintenance to increase. I don't understand. Surely we don't want the building maintenance to increase. Oh, so we turn it on instead of not on. Fair enough. Okay, close that. What's all this going on over here? Let's get rid of all of those. We don't want those. Um... Nothing we can do in those buildings. Okay, but there's lots of people. Hello, Thane. Thane Jeffries. Wondering where wondering where that music is coming from. It's the it's the game music. Uh, fed up and going home. Okay, bye then. Uh, oh, global banking crisis. A large amount of gold has been mysteriously lost into an abyss. A rescue mission has been sent to retrieve this large number of gold lost. Until then, we... Until then, full stop. We should be able to benefit from an increase in the value of gold. Okay, so gold is worth more? That's strange. We don't have much gold, though, look. How much gold do you currently have in your treasury? Not a lot. Um, so, we have quite a large area to expand this kingdom. Um, I'm sure our hero would much rather be off on some kind of quest. Manage hero. Oh, he seems quite happy. Entertainment. Condition happiness. Activeness. Mm, okay, he, seem, he seems quite happy. Um, so can we not hire any more heroes? You need to build another home. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Here we've got to live somewhere. Um, but we can't really afford to build anything at the moment because I misread the information. A big box. Look at that. We can build a big box. Um, a well. Nice. Don't need any of those things. We just need the money to build the tavern that we were supposed to build instead of building the weapon shop. Um, oh, look. We got some kind of award. We got the most wealthy award for lots of points. Most popular award for lots of points. Most amused for lots and lots and lots of points. Um, nice. Okay. So we're, we're winning at the moment, I think. Um, get adventurers into your kingdom. Indeed. Whoops. Ah, cancel. What? what, what did I, how did I manage that? I just right-clicked something. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. Um... So, I mean, this is this is RPG Tycoon. Uh, I'm sure there's probably more to this as you get into the game. It, it probably gets a little bit more in depth. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really sure about this one. Um, it's not often I come across uh, uh, an indie game under first play conditions that I'm not really that keen on. But on this occasion, unfortunately, it's it's not one of my favourites. Having said that. This style of game is not really my style of game, so it may well be that you know I have some prejudice towards the uh, the style, and uh, 
you may really enjoy this game other people indeed will, will i'm sure enjoy this game not really my thing unfortunately but there we go this is it if you are interested in taking a look then check out the link below to uh, to the link on steam or to their website whichever i manage to find and, and add to the uh, to the description of the video uh, if you've enjoyed watching this then don't forget to hit the like button and uh, feel free to leave a comment what you think about this uh, or indeed about my comments about the game everything is awesome there we go negative balance that's not so awesome so uh i'm gonna leave this video here but uh, thank you for watching everybody i've been elbristo this has been elatopia gaming and you've been watching rpg tycoon don't forget to support the indies and i'll see you next time and then the 1995 laptop and the 2000 modern computer we've also got a hollow computer which becomes available in 2020 which is uh unrealistic i mean interesting 